All right, guys, this is Kweku cool Knows It All. And what do you think I know? Well, let's find out. It is common knowledge, many believe most of the plants and crops we use for our staple foods originated from here, but it will surprise you to know that it is not always the case. Slavery brought us pain, but that was not all that it brought. It also brought us food. The Portuguese who first arrived on our shores did not only come to trade, they also brought a lot of plants to cultivate here and it caught up with our farmers. There are many common crops and plants that most of us assume originated from Ghana, but unfortunately, just like cocoa, they all came from a foreign land. Here are eight crops and plants you thought originated from Ghana, but did not. Cassava. Cassava is a very common plant in Ghana used by many tribes in Ghana. The popular food, fufu, prepared with cassava, and due to this, many believe the plant originated from Ghana because no other tribes from around the world prepares fufu. Although we might be the creators of the fufu dish, but the crop used to prepare the food didn't come from us. If you enjoy fufu a lot, then you might want to thank the Portuguese for bringing the cassava to our shores. Cassava was introduced to us by the Portuguese from Brazil in the 16th century when they started trading with us. Cocoyam. The next in line is cocoyam. I hope I'm not ruining your day, huh? <laughs> cocoyam did not originate from here, although we use it a lot, especially the leaves termed as contumri. Cocoyam first found its way into Africa from the southern east part of Asia, where it was cultivated. It is a common dish among the Mexicans, and the original name is Tyro. Maize or corn. Maize might be common in Ghana and Africa now, and has a lot of this is coined out of the plant, but it will surprise you to know that before slavery, maize was not cultivated anywhere in Africa. The plant actually originated from Mexico. Cocoa. As for this one, I know many of you are familiar with it, so I wouldn't talk much about it, but it's just for the record in case someone doesn't know. Although Ghana might be among the highest producers of cocoa in the world, the plant didn't originate from here. Although it was brought to Ghana from Fernando Po, the plant itself originated from Mexico and it was common among the Aztecs and Mayan civilization. Plantain. As for this thing, by the time I go finish, many of you go talk say, hey babe, what's up we go get? On our own no day inside, I will do a video on that later, but for now, let's stick with what is not from us. Plantain found its way into Africa from Southeast Asia by farmers and slave masters. It is not originally from Ghana, but as time went on, we carved a lot of fruit from it till we became the custodians of the plant and made it ours. Other countries do have their dishes though. Millet. Millet, a popular plant in the northern region of Ghana was not originally Ghanaian. It originated from East Asia and was brought down here by Muslim merchants and nomads who traveled the world. Turkey berry, popularly known as bedru. Turkey berry, the plant popularly known in Ghana as bedru, is not originally from Ghana. Although the name may make it sound like it's from Turkey, it is not from Turkey either. It is actually from Central Asia, but it is believed it's widely spread because of bears. Pepe. Ghanaians love their pepper and it can be found in many Ghanaian dishes, but the fact is that the spice is not originally Ghanaian. Pepe is originally from Mexico and Peru and it found its way onto the shores of Ghana through the slave trade. Alright guys, thanks for watching and for more videos like this, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.